what is up guys it's so bash welcome back we are back with some more mobile legends news and updates and we have got the patch notes for the next update which is version 1.1.78 and as it goes the free weekly hero rotation and new skins the free new heroes are going to be alice karina bruno clint fanny kagura sun and ruby also you get an extra six free heroes for starlight members which i'm going to be buying this month because of that moskov skin of course which is the may one uh saber lolita natalia yi sun shin moskov and estes will be free for you then and they also released the next week's rotation as well uh Looks like Bowman, Akai, Franco, Nana, Karina, Minotaur, Habusa, and Chow. And then uh, your Starlight members, you've got Alice, Adora, Kagura, Alpha, Ruby, and Johnson. Now, Chow will be 30% off for a limited time. Uh, looks like he will be available from the 5th of May until the 12th of May uh, for a discounted price at 30%. Ruby, the Hidden Orchard Butterfly video we did a couple days ago about the new skin when they released some information on it she will be available for 599 diamonds that is not bad for one of the new hd skins uh, especially when it looks like that they've usually been going up a little bit higher towards 799 so it's not a bad price for that uh, they also optimized the exclusive skin for the base starlight member moskov which of course is the one i was just talking about a while ago uh, new skin demonstration effects and visual effects and sound effects. So they went all out on this Moskov skin It's really nice. All right now getting into the new hero balance adjustments that they did. They did do a few things uh, Blood Ode they fixed an issue of incorrect lifestyle with on Alice now I'm not really much of an Alice player, but I know they've had issues in balancing They just changed her stun to a trap so any of you guys, if you main Alice or if you play Alice a good bit, let me know some feedback on how Alice has been doing recently. And also Bane, the shark bite, which is his passive, they fixed the issue of incorrect splash damage. Uh, so I guess the, uh, the splash damage that he was doing wasn't correct. I'm not sure if it was too much or too less. Uh, they didn't specify. Um, but yeah, has anybody been playing Bane also? I'm actually going to do some tests on him, see if he's anyone viable again. Because I enjoyed playing him when the game first came out. He was he really well at pushing lanes. So let me know if he's actually viable again, and we'll try some builds out with him. Uh, Cyclops Stardust Shock is getting a cooldown adjustment from 10 seconds to 9 seconds, a whole one second. Hey, it's not bad. It's a mage. Uh, Hilda. Hilda, Hilda, Hilda the amazonian chick the beast she is already getting a buff so power of wildness the new skill effect when the buff reaches a max number of layers the skill damage will ignore 40 percent of the target's armor that is crazy so when your buff reaches the max amount of layers which that's that's pretty nice to have an, an extra 40 percent ignore on target's armor yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing around with that with some of the builds and see what we can do with her. Also, we got Clint in here. Fixed the issue with his ultimate skill, the number of stack grenades not showing. Now, I do have an agreement with uh, them here and some of the other players that, you know, the uh, spells and stuffs. Stells. Yeah, the, the spells and stuffs. Yeah, that, that sounds great. The spells and abilities that you use against and on people, they need to be showing up as like buffs or debuffs, just like the purple buff or red buff. So you know exactly what you've got on you. If you can get rid of stuff, you know, that would be a good judgment of when to use purify because currently purify, even with the recent buff, it's not really that viable because I've been instantly stunned right when I used it again. So something needs to be looked at with those and also ruby she did get a tweak to her adjusted recommended gear set now for the battleground spells adjustment and gears immortality they are messing with one of the uh, only items that a lot of people love the unique passive resurrect the damage absorbing amount of the shield received after resurrecting resurrecting is adjusted from 600 to 2000 points to 300 to a thousand points so they cut the end goal of immortality in half at the end of the game so they're looking for people to get ganked again after they come back from immortality you have too many people surviving really also deadly blade a new attribute it increases 300 points of max hp craft method adjusted new price 2140 gold 
So Deadly Blade, I'm not sure exactly how much it was previously, but an increase of 300 hit points. Uh, not really very many people use Deadly Blade because, I mean, it does have that shield that does pop up if you're gonna die. It's really nice, don't get me wrong. But there was nothing else, no really other good incentive to have it over, you know, immortality and some of these other items that were far superior than it at previously. Uh, also, they have some system adjustments. Seven days sign in event reward is adjusted after players finish the current seven day sign in session. A new session will start and now the rewards are richer and every seven days, each session will have different rewards. So we're not gonna be getting the same rewards from our seven day sessions anymore. That is pretty cool because honestly, this seven day login thing is really a laughable joke at what they really give you it's not anything great uh you get a little bit of battle points out of it but i mean that's like a drop in the bucket compared to what you actually need to get some of these heroes so i'm glad they actually did change that up i hope to see something actually really nice in those uh, especially for some of these players that have been dedicated and playing for a very long time um they optimize the animation display of victory and defeat um i hope they optimize the lag as well uh, the friend system now players can see the upper limit of game friends number on the current number of their game and facebook friends it made no sense but if they say so they say so a uh, new keyword search feature for the friends list now players can use keyword for their friends nickname to search for the corresponding player and friends list chat system was optimized players who love chatting now can come together and have a better communication experience um, they didn't elaborate on anything else that's just what they said about that um, now it will show that squad short name on the battleground score tab and the battle resort result table so you'll be able to see the results on those and whose squad who is in who and where live stream list upgraded newly added some spots for recommended streamers now this recommended streamer stuff i've not figured out yet i don't know how the own stuff works how do you need to connect it um if anybody has a guide to that or will point me to some information about that i will check into it and see if that's something we need to be doing while we're playing and also finally some bug repairs that they did do they fixed the bug text with the text of giving sending scroll message now showing in the live stream spectating uh then the rest of this stuff is uh live stream and they fixed the incorrect frozen time double bp xp cards due to server double battle rewards event so pretty much on the bug repair, it's just live stream oriented stuff. They didn't optimize anything for lag. Uh, they didn't really correct a whole lot in this patch. As far as this patch goes, outside of the 1.1.74 patch, which was literally the smallest update I've ever seen them release, uh, this has got to be the least amount I've ever seen them put into an update. But that's going to be it for this video guys i want to thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about this update want to leave any feedback on it or just want to say hi just leave it in the comments below just keep doing what you're doing guys keep it locked right here as always like comment and subscribe i am Solbash. you guys have a nice day